Hello, my name is Nadia Elhan. I am the author of the Malaika series. I'm also an educator, so I know that there's a lot that you may be learning as you read through the books. And some things might be new to you, might be familiar to you. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a background about the stories and also I share with you some of the ways to read the stories. So the first uh, thing I'd like to let you know, I'm the author of the Malaika series. Um, all of the titles were illustrated by Irene Luxbacher. So the first book in the series that came out in 2016 is the Malaika's Costume Book. And the next book that came out was in 2017. That's Malaika's Winter Carnival. And finally, I present to you a brand new book that comes out on March the 1st. And that one is called Malaika's Surprise. Well, I was very surprised that this would become a series. And I must say, when I had written this book, A Malaika's Costume, as part of a project for a writing class, uh, this story had lived on my computer for a few years before I actually took it to a publisher. Um, as I started going through the process of working on the story, other stories started to come to me. And uh, I was really pleased to that uh, my Groundwood has partnered with me again to uh, for Malaika's Winter Carnival. And the idea behind Malaika's Surprise, uh, there were a few, in fact, I had idea for two different books. And um, so working through it, uh, the book came together as one, and sometimes it was two stories, and sometimes it was one. So over time, it actually evolved into one book, Malaika's Surprise, which I'm very pleased to share with you today. Now, the thing that makes these stories uh, unique, you might have noticed, is the use of two languages. There's the standard English, which is what I'm speaking right now, and then there's a different type of English. It's called Caribbean Patois. That's what I'm calling it. Um, but of course, if you go to each Caribbean country, each one speaks a different language, and also each one has its own Patois. So uh, we're looking at the English-speaking Caribbean, uh, where this story takes place and I actually purposefully did not identify the island but you know some it's it's actually kind of a pan caribbean place but if we take our that and we think about it um there is a english spoken there by the people and that differs from the standard english that I'm speaking right now so I think that it helps to know a little bit about what that language is supposed to sound like when you're reading and sharing this story with your audience, whether you're reading it for yourself or whether you're reading it to an audience of young people or young at heart people as well. So I'm going to read a little bit from Malika Surprise. And the thing that makes this book unique is there's not only but one or two or three, because I do introduce some French into Malaika's Winter Carnival, but I introduced a bit of Arabic as well. So, um, and that was uh, part of the um, fun in writing this book. Uh, there is a glossary at the front that will help you as you are practicing and saying some of these words. So one of the words is bienvenue, which means welcome in French. Bonne fête à toi which means happy birthday to you in uh, French. We also have carnaval ici. Carnaval means carnival, of course. And then we have some other words like doubles, which is an Indo-Trinidadian food. We have famille, which literally means family in French. We have habibti, which means my love, my darling, my sweetheart. And it's usually said uh, in Arabic, it's a gendered word because there's... Um, Habibti is usually said to um, someone who is identifies as female. And then there's je sais, which means I know, which is also French. Notre petit frère, notre petit frère, which means our little brother. Qui, which means who. And soca, which is a type of music in Trinidad and Tobago. And then un petit bébé, which is a little baby in French, of course. And then yalla, yalla which is means let's go in Arabic. So it was really fun to write all of this. 
and I look forward to sharing a few pages with you. It's summertime. Every day, Adele and I put on masks and colorful capes to play carnival. We dance to the soca music coming from the windows of our house. We sing, Carnival is here, Carnival is see, Carnival is here, Carnival is see, again and again until we fall down laughing. <laughs> I see a little girl looking at us. Who's that? I say. Key? Adele asks. But the little girl is gone. Malaika, Adele, Papa Federico call. Dinner time. Okay, Papa, we say, dragging our feet home. At dinner, I ask Mommy, can the little girl next door come out to play? Which little girl? She asked me. I tell mommy about her. Sounds like a new little friend, she say. Not the only new little one, say Papa Frederic. Girls, you will have a baby brother or sister soon, mommy smiled rubbing her belly. Around the time of your birthday, Malaika. Yay! Un petit bébé! Adele say, clapping her hands. What? I ask. I'm going to stop right there. So if you would like to find out what will happen in this story, because uh, there's lots of surprises, please check out Malaika's surprise. And I hope that gives you an idea of how to read the story, how to enjoy it, um, of course, you can put on some music from these places that uh, speak French, uh, countries, regions, provinces. This story takes place in Quebec City, so you might want to listen to some Quebecois or French Canadian music. There's also the Caribbean aspect, so you might listen to different. There's so many types of music that come from the Caribbean, um, some reggae, some soca, calypso. You might listen to some zouk. Uh, you might listen to compa, different types of music that come from the Caribbean. Also, there is music that comes from the Middle East as well, North Africa, where you hear music where Arabic is spoken. And I um, got to hear a lot of Arabic music when I lived in Abu Dhabi in Dubai. For a year, I went there to teach. So um, I was exposed to the, the music. I learned a couple of phrases and I also teach French. So that's kind of where my interest comes from in languages. I've loved languages since I was really young. I actually had the goal of learning every language in the world. Um, and so far I'm up to about five. I teach French as well. So I've spent a lot of time in Quebec. So that's kind of where my background comes from. And also my parents are Jamaican. So I heard, grew up hearing Caribbean music and the language in the music and the poetry of people who use that, including um, Louise Bennett Colville, who's a poet. So all of those influences have made an impact on my work. So I am happy to say this book is available on March 1st, stores everywhere. Please order and support your local bookstores. And I'm so glad that you have taken an interest and will listen to all of these. Hopefully you'll pick up all of these books at some point and share them with ones you care about. Au revoir. A bientôt. Goodbye.